Dickinson's mission is absolutely naturally linked and historically linked to the mission of community-based learning and community-based research. Community-based learning, community-based research is an effort for, to put students in contexts in which they can take what they learn in the classroom and apply it in the wider world and simultaneously take the experiences that they have in the wider world and bring them back into the classroom and think about them more deeply. When American was, education was really first started, a distinctive American education, and I would place that really after the American Revolution. Of course, there Dickinson College was, founded five days after the signing of the Treaty of Paris. The intention of our founder, Dr. Benjamin Rush, and his colleagues, Thomas Jefferson being another, was that an American education, American liberal arts education, must be more than a bookish, and they use that word, uh, and they even use the word monkish, monkish and bookish type of education, that that belonged to England. And that was an, an education that really did not relate to an energetic, community-based, citizen-based republic and democratic situation. And so therefore, the education they were looking at would be one that would not just respect learning in books and in texts, per se, or through artifacts. And they had an immense respect for that, for rhetoric, for writing, for numeracy. But they also wanted an education that would take students into the community. Well, this is done in many ways all across the curriculum, but the sort of central point where this is most consciously done are in courses and programs that are service learning courses, where the task of going out into the wider world engaging with it and then bringing experience back to be analyzed is at the core of the course. It's built into the course. And so those points are specifically designed to achieve this goal of the flow of thinking and activity back and forth between the classroom and the wider world. When students talk about their experiences here, um, it is that engaged learning environment where the learning goes out of the classroom and and finds its way into their real lives um, that students find the most powerful. You know, the Salvation Army has been a big part of my life the last few years, so I usually spend, you know, on average of five or six hours a week on site. Um, you know, I go whenever I can outside of class. Um, and then, you know, I basically write journal entries um, every time I go to, to really step back and apply what we've learned in class to what I just saw. Whereas before I took this class, it was kind of like, you know, I would go and it would be great and I guess, you know, it would make you feel good and you felt like you make a difference, but then you go back to your dorm room and then it's just like, you know, it's out of your mind, out of sight. But with this, now that you have to sit down and think about it, you're like, wow, you know, what does this really mean? What did this experience mean? How can this be improved? So I think, um, you know, that's the biggest difference in any service learning course is that the contemplation that you have to give to the service that you just did. There is a, a kind of an image of the liberal arts which is not actively engaged with the wider world, which stresses a sort of separation. That's not the way we view it. I mean, our sense of liberal arts and sciences is that they are integrally connected with the broader concept of citizenship, of being a part of wider society, in fact of many wider societies, the local, the regional, the state, the national, the global. And so finding ways to bring theory and practice in the field together and finding ways to do it that are thoughtful and reflective is really critical to us. It's central to our mission. Service learning does exactly that. It's not like volunteerism, which is a great thing. We have students doing thousands of hours of volunteer work. But with service learning, the academic dimension, the reflection dimension is tied to the doing dimension in ways in which each reinforces the other. And, I, and from our concept of the liberal arts, it just doesn't get better than that. One of the defining ones at Dickinson, of course, was when Benjamin Rush said that he wanted our students to be close enough to the courthouse in Cumberland County that they could spend the afternoon sitting there watching, and he said, America work. And so already this was envisioned.